So away we go, and a fixture that goes all the way back to November 1902, and seldom can there have been a more important one between these two clubs. Battling to stay in the top division, and that will be worth at least a million pounds to stay in the Premier League. Victory will make Motherwell secure this afternoon. And Tommy McLean saying before kick-off it really was a cup final today. And uh, judging by the noise from the crowd as both teams come onto the field, I think he's got that absolutely correct. And Tommy McLean preparing Paul McGrillan this afternoon to Dougie Arnott, uh, possibly because he scored two of his six goals against Falkirk this season, two single goals. Well, almost getting another one. A chance falling to him. Specialist David Cooper to take this one. Meanwhile, McCart moves forward to the pocket penalty area. It's a good one, and it cuts him now. Well, he's claiming he was held. This is McCall with the free kick. Dyke trick commits himself for it. He's lost it, and there it's off the bar. It's McCart who gets it away. All kinds of arguments going on with the referee at the moment. The ball coming off the bar. It looks certain that uh, Falkirk would score. And eventually, it was McCart who turned it round the post for the corner kick. Stevie Cooper. Keeper's left it. That plays back there. This is McGrillan coming in. Chance is on for O'Donnell, and it's swept away eventually by Neil Duffy. Still not properly cleared, it's David Cooper, and well handled by Westwater, and it had to be with Steve Kip coming in. It's headed away by Nihil, not convincingly. Oh, chance is on here for Cadet. Still it's Cadet, it's McCart who makes the challenge. Wheels in there. This is Martin. And a good clearance to David Cooper, chested down now to Kip. Through for McGrillan, turns well. And chased all the way though by Wishup. Still it's McGrillan. And down he goes. It's Ryan Royce to take it. Put it in towards back tape, and that's uh, better handling by Deep Dykstra. And the counter attack on here from Marable. It's Rob McKinnon, he's got David Cooper to his left. He tries to switch it to the right though. This is McGrillan. And a timely intervention by Neil Oliver. That was a vital challenge. Good break forward by Motherwell. Straight into the near post. And it's Chris McCart. A captain's goal by Chris McCart for Motherwell with 42 minutes gone. It's Motherwell 1, Falkirk 0. Well, Davy Cooper. Sending in the corner kick to the near post, it caused all kinds of confusion. The ball actually came off Tommy McQueen. Eventually, it broke to McCart and he slammed it home. Chris McCart gets his third goal of the season and maybe another, a more vital one. Motherwell one, Falkirk nil. Tommy McQueen. Call again. By O'Donnell, this is Cooper. Ray stepping in, takes a return from Wisher. McQueen. The goalkeeper's committed himself, he's made a hash of it, it's Cadet. And again, Dykstra in all kinds of trouble. It's back to playing it to McAllister. And a good cross, Baptiste in there, punched away by the goalkeeper, that's Rice! Well, Cadet just needed to get the nearest touch as Rice fired in the ball. Good play by McAllister, the goalkeeper punched it clear. The shot came in from Rice, uh, Cadet was lurking there just on the six-yard area, so too was Baptiste. And the ball just going past the post. Baptiste's head up, McKinnon gets a touch from Motherwell. McGrillan, he did well there, holding off the challenge of Weir, and it's Davy Cooper, 
Good for feeding it through, that's a great ball to Angus. And an excellent save by Westwater. And a vintage pass there from David Cooper. Well, Jim Jeffries knows that uh, his men have really got to do something soon. Uh, they face the drop. This is Rice. That takes a deflection and he's scored. Well, they've done something soon, all right. 71 minutes gone. And Falkirk stay alive. Well, Weiss finding himself a bit of space. It was Martin who cleared. Weiss nice taking down the ball. He struck it well. It took a deflection off a defender. Dipped over the goalkeeper. And it's Motherwell 1, Falkirk 1. And the free kick to be taken by Tommy McQueen. Off Martin, it's picked up by Bapte. This is Duffy. Not, not far away. And I hope, taking a very close watch on Cadet. It's Philippin who gets in the header. I went in from Rice. Bapte's in there. It's hooked away by Philippin. Right down there by Arnott to Cooper. It's a good ball from Cooper. This is Arnott. Still it's Arnott. And he's done it. Eighty-one minutes gone. And the perfect substitution from Tommy McLean. Dougie Arnott gets his sixth goal of the season. It's Motherwell two. Falk at one. Great ball through from Davy Cooper. And Arnott taking on Neil Oliver, going in the outside and beating Westwood on the ball, hitting the base of the post on the way into the back of the net. So a vital strike from the substitute. Checking his watch closely. There goes the final whistle. Muller will stay in the Premier Division. Falkirk are relegated. And so too are Airdrie. Well, sporting handshakes all round. A disappointing afternoon for Jim Jeffries. But for Tommy McLean and his men. For Chris McCart to score the vital opening goal. It's an afternoon of joy. For warm handshakes all round. The final score here at Fair Park. Motherwell 2, Falk at 1. It looked as though at one stage, Tommy, you could become detached, but the players hung in there, didn't they? Yeah, I think all credit to them because up until December, uh, it was a very, very poor season and there were genuine reasons. We had four important players out at the one given time. Now, we can accommodate one or two, but no four influential players uh, all at the one time. But as I say, we got ourselves detached then, but I think since December onwards, our results have been on a par with any club in the mid-table eh, in Scotland. So credit to them that, you know, it would have been easy to knuckle under. They picked us all up and got down, and when we had the players available at our disposal, I think the results followed.